Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I have here an article uh, where we have an uh, ex F-35 fighter jet pilot, American, who, after he flew his F-35 for a while, he says that uh, NATO could completely destroy the Russian forces. Now, that is like I telling you that uh, I am a, a user of an AK, I don't know, not 47, AK-74, let's say. And according to my ability, and compare it with other automatic weapons that I shot, or I observed, or I um, learned about, studied, I can tell you that that's, let's say, the most reliable uh, automatic weapon there is. Therefore, based on that piece of information, I can say that, let's say, the, an army who has uh, the AK-74 or 47, depends what kind of model you got, would always win against whatever other army. So let's say in this case, the Russians will win against NATO because they have AK-47s or 78 or whatever the new uh, variant of that kind of automatic weapon uh, they have now. Now, is it possible for me to you know, reach the conclusion ju just by using one one, how should I put it, uh, warplane in this case, or one automatic weapon, am I able to assess the complete arsenal of military power of a country? And the answer is no. So this gentleman, I'm going to give you the name so you can laugh as much as you want. He embarrasses himself uh, making this statement. A former F-35 test pilot weighed in on the fighter jet performance in Ukraine conflict and how it represents a massive leap forward from Cold War era aircraft. Billy Flynn, that's his name, contends that F-35 is so different from Soviet Cold War fighters that pilots used to, used to the latter would be unable to transition to F-35. Flynn also thinks the F-35 is the most survivable aircraft for the dangerous skies over Ukraine. And um, he is uh, uh, under the, the impression that, uh, I mean, this Billy Flynn is one of the most accomplished test pilots around. I'm the best shooter with an AK-47 as well and 78, so let's see. Uh, so would that weigh in anything? Would that have any value? So nevertheless, um, According to the title, this gentleman, NATO could completely destroy the Russian forces. Okay, this is like telling you, not only the story with the uh, automatic weapon, but let's say I'm telling you that I'm going to fight Mike Tyson in his prime, but I will tell you that uh, my pinky is stronger than his pinky. So therefore, I will destroy Mike Tyson. Whoa, 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 Ignore his arms, his cardio, his training, everything, his power. Just focus on the pinky. My pinky is better than his pinky. Therefore, overall, I will destroy Mike Tyson because my pinky might be stronger and better than his pinky. So this guy has this kind of assessment. Very good ex pilot, very good, you know, a test pilot, fantastic. But what do you think? Do you think that's a uh, um, complete or not even complete? I would put it the other way. Isn't that a shallow assessment of forces, military capabilities of countries? And the answer is, all right. So this gentleman should be left out of the every house or every interview who would go again because of this interview, but he will not. He's still a revered F-35 ex-pilot, fantastic guy. I'm pretty sure he is, but I'm, I think I'm better with, uh, uh, than him at that. So 
I am, let's say I'm an expert in doing that. So his uh, assessment will not trump, uh, not President Trump, my assessment. Why would it? Why wouldn't my assessment be better than him? Because I'm an expert in using the AK-47, AK-78 and every other variant. And I think it's better than any other weapon, automatic weapon in the world. That's my assessment as an expert. How about that? And can I say it? I can, but I will make an ass out of me saying it, that whoever owns whatever army has AK-47 or 78 or whatever variant will win, will destroy the other one. Because the other ones have not as good automatic weapons as Kalashnikov. And this is the logic that we're supposed to, oh, there's an expert, yes, he's an ex-military, he must be smart, yes, he's involved in the military, in the U.S. military, yes, 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 yes. What do you think? Do you have above 86 IQ? You do, I'm pretty sure. So if you have above 86, you would take whatever he says and say, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? From this, from my pinky, you generalize to the whole thing? And that doesn't scare me because he's a pilot. Okay, he knows how to fly planes. Strategy? I don't know about that. I don't know how smart he is. His statement, his statement tells me how smart he is. Do I need any more proof? No. So when I hear this guy, Billy Jean, or whatever his name is, I will just go from here and go out there because he made his below 86 IQ statement. All right? So thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and don't let yourself buffaloed by these guys just because they have a rank or they have experience. Experience could be good, experience could be bad. In this case, I don't even know what to say about it. He's got experience, but it seems like he lacks something else in the upstairs. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You read for yourself. Nevertheless, I met a lot of people who, uh, let's say, were in uh, special uh, operations and their special forces, and they uh, gave assessments, provided assessments of uh, a military, uh, you know, tactical uh, um, issues. It doesn't mean anything. When you are over there in a special operation with your gear, your weapons, and you're a pion, you're just a person who executes orders. It doesn't mean that you know the whole thing. And even if you know the whole thing, you know the whole thing for a very, very small operation. It doesn't mean that you're very well read. It doesn't mean that you're very smart either. Maybe you're courageous. Maybe you're very well prepared physically and mentally. Excellent. You should be, but it doesn't provide you with the free pass to be listened to because you were a Navy SEAL, or you were a Green Beret, or you were a, I don't know, whatever. Good, that's fantastic, that's good. But you have to prove it. And how do you prove it? Open your mouth. And when you open your mouth, I know who you are. Remember that ancient Greek um, saying? If you do, great, you're on the right track. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. See you in a moment.